Hey guys, uh, welcome to Journey in the Bible, another episode. We are doing Genesis chapter 39. I can't believe we have uh, we have made it so far. It's only by God's grace that we are able to study the Bible and to really know what the Bible is talking about. And with me today is Bontu, who's going to help us, you know, break down the word and rightly dividing the word of truth that we may be strengthened and that we may be encouraged on our Christian journey. And so without much further ado, I will introduce Bontu on the show. So Bontu, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Awesome. So yeah, tell the viewers who you are, what you do. I, I'm actually excited about your, your podcast. Maybe you can tell us more about that as well. Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. My name is Bontu, and I am the host of It Is Well podcast. And basically, it started off um, to inspire young people and to really encourage them to open up the Word of God and to be encouraged because we live in a time where there's so much in, uh, discouragement mm -hmm. everywhere. So, for especially young people, we talk about things like prophecy, we talk about things like value, we talk about so many different things and generally um, basically we go through the word of God and see how God sees us instead of looking mm. to the world to define who we are. Amen, amen. You know, there's the word and then there's a world. So we have to spend mm -hmm. time in the word. Otherwise the word is going to draw us. So that's a very that's good, true. that's a very good uh, ministry. And uh, like I've said, I, I love the podcast and uh, keep bringing keep bringing the episode so that we can enjoy the word of god well so today we are looking at genesis chapter 39 and uh, really it's an interesting story in genesis chapter 38 we looked at you know judah and uh, and tamar and really judah was kind of how can i put it his morals were kind of loose if you think about it but then the writer presents another person, his name is Joseph, who has strong morals. He's very strong to the point where he is tempted, but he says no. Can you tell us about that, Bontu? How did Joseph make it? How, what's so different about Joseph and how can we learn from Joseph uh, something we can apply today in our day and age? Um, well, before we even start that, we can start with a word of prayer and uh, right, be encouraged. Right. Yes, I almost <laughs> yeah. forgot that. Yeah, sure. You can pray for us and then just go right into it. Yeah, sure. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for guiding us and for blessing us. We pray that you may please be with us as we go through your word. For your word is truth. In Jesus' name we have prayed and believed. Amen. 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 So, um, I guess we're talking about the summary, right, of the whole chapter. And basically, mm -hmm. it starts off kind of uh, Joseph, you know, working mm -hmm. in um, working for his master, and right. who is Pharaoh in the story, um, mm -hmm. practically known as Potiphar, because they had mm -hmm. many pharaohs in Egypt, but he was mainly known, known as Potiphar. And so he's working there, and it's so interesting in the verses, when we read through it says that god blessed the works of his hand yeah. so you know wherever whatever field joseph worked in god blessed it like it kept multiplying everybody could see that that field was getting blessed mm. and so he reaches um a point where um he's noticed so much that um even sometimes he's someone notices him for the wrong yeah. reason you know what i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, people who may uh, how should i say it and it's i think it's so similar even the time we live in right. so many people they may be doing ministry up there standing mm. you know maybe it's a leader youth leader whatever and sometimes people notice them for the wrong reasons wow. instead of noticing them for the word of god they're not saying oh wow that leader has a nice suit <laughs> wow that's true yeah. it's amazing the, the bible uses the word and she cast her eyes upon him exactly <laughs> very, very interesting so we can be you know doing good things but other people perceive us with different eyes so that's a that's a danger and a warning against we have to to always be vigilant about that 
Yes, exactly. And I actually, just before we came into this program, mm. I read a quote uh, where the lady said that mm. she's called Jill Morricone and she said, don't let your mind accept the compliments that people give you. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Because just think about Joseph, especially you, mm. where, you know, Potiphar's wife was... Um, you know, telling him, oh, you look so good. And she was mm. really kind of like forcing um, kind of him to lay with her. Wow. And he, he would always, you know, reject her. You he would always reject her words. It's not that like it, it this is not like it was a lie that he was good looking it was mm, true he was mm. probably so good looking but he wasn't really focused on the way he looked he was focused on his work and wow. you know sometimes we're in the world and we're trying to do god's work but also yes. at the same time we're coming in looking for people's compliments wow that's know? that's a grave danger and notice verse 10 it says and it came to pass as she spake to joseph day by day that he hearken not unto her to lie by her, by her or to be with her. Joseph had, had this strong resolve, right? To yeah. consistently say no. And you know what I learned from this is it's not enough to just say not today. Mm. Because you can say not today and say yes tomorrow, but it has to be a consistent no. Every day exactly. saying no, no, no. But then I want to ask you, where mm -hmm. do you think Joseph got this energy from? This power, this resolve, this determination to say no? Where is it coming from? Well, I guess I believe even the Bible shows it. It started from when he was really young, you know. Mm. He started from his father just sitting on the table and talking to him and guiding him and teaching him with his fellow brothers. Mm -hmm. And so he chose to remember that. He chose to remember what he had learned in his youth i mean he he was probably still young even then in that particular time but really mm -hmm. when he was very young so he chose to not forget and um that's why even the bible in proverbs says that train a child in a way that he should go mm. when he's old he will not depart from it right if so you he, look at yeah mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look at our generation, yes, there are so many people who have neglected. I'm not even just gonna say parents, but it's not, because it's not mm. just parents who have the duty. Their right. parents, their siblings, their aunties and uncles who have neglected to teach children and left the phones, the devices to teach them. Hmm. So how do you expect them to stand against such temptation if you haven't, you have never cultivated it since a young age? You know. Wow, that's that's really tough. And you're right. Yeah. At a very young age. And then it's it's fascinating. You, you did mention that um, you know Joseph was prospering. Everything he did, he what he prospered, right? Mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds me of Psalms chapter one, which says, "Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand, nor sits, etc., with sinners, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in need he meditates or she meditates day and night." And then it says something to the extent of He's like a tree planted by the rivers of many waters and whatsoever he does, he prospers. So when I read that verse and I read this story, it just looks like Joseph is a, is a good illustration of Psalms chapter one because everything he did, he prospered, which must mean that he was rooted, like you just mentioned here, in the word of God from a very young age. So that's a very powerful point to, to bring out. Yeah, that's that's so true. It started early. It wasn't mm. like he woke up one day. And also that's the same thing with temptation. Right. It's not like um, we wake up one day and suddenly we're like <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> you know, or right. we're like Daniel. Uh, mm. I don't I, I don't know whether you've had the same uh, thing whereby, you know, you sit in a posture and you're like, you sit and you're like, I'll never, you know, if this happens, <laughs> I'll never, I'll stand for my faith. Right. And something little happens and you're like, ah, not me you know <laughs> yeah i can relate yeah. i can relate it happens to all of us you know yeah it's, it's interesting yeah exactly so joseph is being noticed for good stuff and uh, apparently now he's tempted but what happens how does he get out of that temptation so um he always the thing about joseph is whenever he, she came close to him he would go away from her he would mm. 
go away from the temptation he would run away not even to listen more of what she had to say and i think that's also another lesson of temptation that instead of keeping on and listening and going on with the argument or with the conversation we should mm. immediately move away and it goes back to even in genesis chapter i believe is a two where you know mm. eve was being deceived by the serpent and it's because she kept indulging in the conversation that she ended up being tempted it's mm. the same thing here now joseph knew that if he went on you know continuing to have a conversation with her he would fall into the temptation but he chose to always move away and it reached to a point now where his master had gone and everybody was not there mm. now it was between him and her now mm. this was when the real test was coming out right wow yeah that's 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 something really this story is uh i think one of my favorites because it it just speaks to the youth us as youth on how we can we can be like joseph and overcome temptation and one of the things i think about temptation is um our attitude towards it must be it's something bigger than us sometimes we think we are bigger than sin or we are bigger than the devil or bigger than temptation but the truth is to always understand our need and our insufficiency and so no wonder the bible on this point of especially sexual immorality uh, the bible gives a clear message it says flee fornication and usually you run away from something that you don't have power over and that's that's the the lesson i see from here that you know most of the sins in fact all sin is something we have to flee away from we cannot safely have conversation with sin and win because it's in our nature to sin so we have to run away from it as as much as as we can but i mean continuing on with the story uh, as a result of this you know Joseph is accused of of you know doing something wrong even though all he did was run away because his court stays with uh, with uh, uh, with the wife of the of the of the king I would say and it's amazing to see Joseph in prison what what do you have to say about Joseph being in prison even though he is innocent mm-hmm. I think actually that's one of my favorite parts of the story <laughs> mm, <laughs> where okay. he's put into prison. I don't know, nice. I think for him probably when he was in prison he was like this is not the best part of my story. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, yeah, cuz I, I even see I just envision uh Joseph have like thinking about the visions that God had given him mm. when he was young and he's there and his brothers are bowing down to him and he's like he was probably like God does this look like <laughs> My vision, not I, don't, at all. I don't believe the dreams anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think he felt discouraged. Even yeah. in um, the spirit of prophecy, it says mm. at some point he was discouraged. He was human like us, you know. Right. right. And it's so interesting because even as he's in prison, he mm. stays in the prison for some time, and his um, master, I guess, mm. makes him a leader in prison. Like wow. <laughs> You know, God still blesses the works of his hand. Like, mm. God continues being with him to the point that now he's in charge of his fellow prisoners. And it goes to show that when we follow God and when mm. we really stand for God, God will make us prosper wherever we are, whether mm. we're a slave, whether we're with the king there, you know, his top bearer, wherever we are, like, you know, um god will bless our hands and even david said he would rather you know be you know the poorest but with god rather than be up there you know mm. the riches without god because think about it if joseph fell for this temptation mm. he would have it it's it's one thing to lose your job and it's one thing to lose a relationship and trust with god because right. now the world is against you you feel mm-hmm. well obviously god never leaves us but you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. really feel at that point that you have this honor that trust that god has entitled you to you know mm-hmm. and joseph at this point yes he did feel discouraged but i think as god made him prosper in even the cell he saw that 
yeah, God really has a plan for me, that this is not my final destination. Mm. And I think so many times as youth, we look at the story and we're like, ah, oh, this is an old story, <laughs> or when do you think about prisons nowadays? Mm. But to be honest, even our weakest times can feel like prisons, you know? Right, right. Or maybe you're not getting the best job or the best mm. grade in school, or even your family has discouraged you or even, you know, just left you and you're you're really feeling lonely mm. that could feel like a prison and know that god is with you and just as god was with joseph he's still with you it's not like he loves joseph more than you or even mm. that he loves some people who are maybe in your church who are standing on the pulpit and preaching that mm. he loves them more than you. he loves all of us equally right. and if you're in the pit as long as you stand for god and use his word as your weapon then he will always be with you right that's that's beautiful yeah. and uh, you're right god loves us all the same in fact yeah i believe we did a video on that it was uh genesis chapter chapter 36 i believe where you know it talks about um god loving jacob and hating esau kind of thing but we kind of broke that down and explained what it means that god loves everyone the same it's our choices however that determines how close we get to him and you know the only difference between joseph and every other person really in egypt at this point is that the presence of god was with joseph and one of the main lessons i learned as well is that you know, a prison with God is better than a palace without God. So I'd rather be in a prison with God than be in a good place without God. And today's appeal is, you know, a calling to seek God's presence. I believe it's uh, Psalms chapter 127 that says, If the Lord does not build the house, the builders uh, build the house in vain. That is to say, if you do anything without God, whatever you're doing makes no difference. It makes no sense. In fact, it won't even last. So as, uh, you know, as, as youth, as adults, as, as people really, as Christians, we have to invite God and to make sure he's with us. And we really have to adopt the spirit of Joseph. And Joseph really is an example of what we can be if we truly trust in God. Buntu, are there any other few thoughts you want to share as we close today? Yeah, I think I would say that be encouraged, uh, no matter where you, whether you look left or right and you see discouragement, just mm. be encouraged by God's word. And I would really encourage you to keep watching these videos and keep going through the Bible because as I uh, reread Joseph's story, I just learned so many lessons that probably could can, cannot even be uh, made in one video you just mm, have to read mm. it for yourself and i think sometimes people watch these videos and they're like oh maybe that's your experience or she's mm. she's over making up stuff and <laughs> trying to make us read what she read but no mm. god's word truly has power over mm. your life you have to start believing it yourself you can't Amen. go in prayer uh, with disbelief and saying, ah, let me try this thing and see if it works. Mm. Believe as you come to read God's word that he changes you. Because for me personally, I'm a living testimony of that. Because there was a point in my life where mm. I really didn't want to read God's word because I had indulged in so many media and whatever of the world that mm. I didn't have hunger for God's word. I was like, mm. I would doze when I would read my Bible. I didn't have interest, but mm. the Holy Spirit kept encouraging me to go back and go back because guess what? The word of God does not go void. And right. it surely made an impact in my life and it kept changing me. And today, God is using me for things that I would not have seen myself in. Not because, um, I don't know, not because I wasn't physically able to do it, but because mm. of how far I felt my spiritual life was from God. Wow. So, yeah, if you are feeling discouraged and you feel like you're really in sin and 
you feel like God will never accept you, if he accepted me, if he accepted James, yeah, if he accepted all of us who are doing ministry today, he mm. can surely accept you. So just ask God to come into your heart, change you, and to give you the strength to fight temptation just mm. as he did for Joseph. Amen. Amen. Powerful, powerful. God will accept us if we accept him. He says, return to me and I will return to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Journey in the Bible. Uh, if you want to receive more videos like this one, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And of course, um, <laughs> inspired by you, Bontu, I created a podcast as well. And so it's called Journey in the Bible. You can check the links in the description. And we are going also to put our podcast, which is It Is Well Podcast. You can find the link in the description as well. And so God bless you. If you have any thoughts, questions, answers, you can leave them in the comment and see you in the next video. Bye.